I see about three new heart attack cases every single day in the hospital. And as a paranoid cardiology pharmacist who doesn't want to end up in one of my own beds, here's an example of what I eat to try to lower my risk as much as possible while keeping me full until mid-afternoon. Of note, I am not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but I try to eat generally fairly healthy and have my family do so as well and have adopted a bit of a Mediterranean diet consisting of fish, nuts, legumes, beans, whole grains, uh, and olive oil especially, as well as fruits and vegetables. Even though the PREDIMED study that was done a few years ago did have its flaws, overall, I think there's still some positives in that it can still possibly lower cardiovascular risk by about 30%. So I know this doesn't look super duper appetizing, but what this consists of is the following. We have about half a cup of quick oats, two thirds cup of cooked quinoa, half of an avocado. This one does look a little diseased. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil seasoned with salt and pepper. And I like to top this up with some nuts. Today I have some cashews and some almonds. So the quick oats amounts to 150 calories. The quinoa also 150 calories. Avocado is half an avocado is about 80 calories. One whole tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil is 120 calories. Five cashews is 50 calories, 35 calories for five almonds. And today, what you see here, I've also included some young coconut meat. I know it is saturated fat, but it does provide a little bit of sweetness and just a little bit of extra little something that helps me get through the day. In terms of total protein intake, this amounts to a total of about 15 grams of protein. Not a whole lot, but I sometimes will try to supplement with like a soft boiled egg or something too. So I hope this helps and give you some ideas in terms of what you can have for breakfast rather than going to something like uh, McDonald's and picking up a bacon and egg McMuffin or something, which does technically have less calories according to the website, but I do wonder sometimes whether those things are accurate or not. The website suggests that a bacon and egg McMuffin is about 310 calories. I don't know. This does not look like 310 calories. Let me know what you think. Um, is this something that you would consider eating or try at least? Maybe pick up an avocado that's not so ripe. But this is what I'm having for today and I will be nice and full and happy and hopefully heart disease free. So that's just an example of what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I do variations of this. Sometimes I'll include some dates. I'll include some uh, dried raisins, um, different types of nuts. Maybe sometimes I'm putting in a scoop of peanut butter for extra protein. There's a lot of different options that you can do and be creative with it. For me, as long as I'm not uh, consuming a lot of the you know ultra processed type stuff, it keeps me happy and my heart happy. This isn't exactly a medication related video, but I do think that nutrition is very important as well as medications. So these two should be used in tandem with each other to help lower the risk of heart disease. Again, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Say no to drugs.